second year wide receiver that is poised to have a breakout 2021 season. Let's go from running back to wideout Triggs. Okay, let me write this down here. And my response is a guy that might not be the first one on everyone's mind, but in Chicago, I don't know if there's any more excitement for a young player than Darnell Mooney with the Bears. Fifth round pick out of Tulane, had about 60 catches last year. This was the move, guys. Watch Mooney on Ramsey. It's the double move that everyone is still talking about. In fact, there were about a million tweets about it all this week with Jalen Ramsey involved. It's up top on the top of the screen. Mooney put a move on Ramsey, didn't get the ball, but this play right here has had a lot of Bears fans intoxicated with the thought of what this young man can be. Darnell Mooney did not put up massive numbers last year, but put up that play that has been running as a highlight reel in the minds of Bears fans. And let me just tell you, Bears coaches since week seven of last season. D'Angelo Hall, I know you don't like seeing that on film. He wouldn't have bit. No, sir. I hate watching double moves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's on me, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Bam, Brandon Ayuk. And probably the normal football fan might not know this name. I didn't know this name when the 49ers drafted him. And then I saw this guy make plays like that, and I said, Ooh. man, wow, I got to see more of this guy. And he's just an explosive beast. I know they do a lot of stuff in the run game, but when you get this guy, the football in his hands at the line of scrimmage, he's able to do that. Be explosive with the ball in his hands. Kyle Shanahan loves guys who are explosive with the ball in his hands. Brandon Ayuk, I think with the improvement at the quarterback position, and I'm saying improvement because whether Jimmy G ultimately is out there on the field or Trey Lance, I think the quarterback position will be elevated in the uh, down there in San Francisco with the 49ers. And so I can't wait to watch Brandon Ayuk ball because this kid has the skill set uh, to be a dominant receiver. So I can't wait to watch him tear it up. Okay. I love that I went third because I have a fear of misspelling things that I show people due to a, a phobia <laughs> and a traumatic event that happened in middle school. But I'm going to go with LaVisca Chenault because I had to check it about six times to make sure I yes. spelled it right down in Duval <laughs> County. I had a chance to talk to him for a while when I was down there, Jimmy Palm Tree style uh, for the draft after one of his workouts. This dude is built like a linebacker. <laughs> and when I talked to people that, dra that were in that draft process of him, it was like he did everything in Colorado. He, 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 they gave him the football everywhere on the field because he was their really only weapon and he and everybody knew he was getting the ball and he, and he performed. Injuries have been the only issue for him. It happened in college and it happened this past season and he raved about the new strength and conditioning staff to me and how they have his body operating and what he's doing physically that he is poised to have a very, very big year, K. And obviously you have DJ Shark down there. You have Trevor Lawrence getting the football. Yeah. Tebow's going to demand so much attention that these guys Martin are going to be running wild all over the field in single coverage. So <laughs> Velvisca Chenault is going to be a guy I have my eye on down there as they throw the football around with their number one overall pick.